All right, let's just click the damn button already. What's up, guys? So today I'm going to go ahead and play WillYouPressTheButton.com. And I've seen a lot of other YouTubers do it, so it's not like it's anything super original, but some of the questions looked pretty interesting. So let's just go ahead and take a look and see what kind of mind fucks we have to deal with. All right, first one, you can jump two times your height. You can only do it when you're afraid. What the fuck kind of question is that? Like, how is this ever going to be applicable in life? You can jump twice your height, but you can only do it when you're afraid. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm going to, I mean, if I could ever jump twice my height, that would be pretty cool, right? And I could, like, trade my mind to be afraid of everything all the time so that I could always jump twice my height. Is that, see, am I stretching outside of the box? Do you guys not think of this, right? If I could have the superpower, I could literally just go ahead and, you know, become a Jedi and use mind magic to train my mind to always be afraid so that I could always jump twice my height. Yes, let's press the button. Uh, that's a good one, I like it. You could be rich and immortal, but you always have to walk and you can't sit anymore. Uh, I don't know, man. I really like sitting. I am a lazy individual, but rich and immortal, but you always have to walk and can't sit. Wow, that's a tough one right there. That's a tough one. I bet chat's going to be like, lol, I know what all the Americans are going to pick. Because I know you guys are like that. Um, you know what? Let's just go ahead and, and pick the not lazy option because I'm going to go ahead and represent... A statistic that most people think America is not. So let's just go ahead and press the button. All right, let's let's do that one. Uh, you would be the most charming and charismatic person in the room, but you would smell bad. Hmm. Charming and char how can you be charming and charismatic if you? See I mean, I don't know if if you're like charming and charismatic, but you smell really bad. That the, trust me, if you're a random person, right? If you're a random person. What's going through your head first? The fact that somebody is really charming and charismatic or the fact that they smell really bad? I can guarantee you it's the smell really bad thing first. As somebody who has sat next to people on an airplane that literally smell terrible but are very charming and charismatic and do like to talk and are very social, I can tell you that the only thing going through my head is how bad they smelled. So I'm going to go ahead and go with no. I will not press the button. Nice, look at that. We did it. We did it, guys. We passed the test. Only 30% of people pressed the button. Uh, you can be best friends with your favorite celebrity. You will never see your current best friend again. I don't have it. See, this is an easy one for me because I don't really worship any celebrities. I don't really care about anyone except Justin Bieber. Kappa. Uh, but yeah, I don't really, I don't care. So this is, this is something that's probably easy for me. And some of you guys who are like massive freaking, I don't know. Who's a celebrity that's famous these days? Jack Black? Yeah, some of you guys who are like massive Jack Black fans are going to be like, how could you ever... I hate my best friend. I need to be friends with Jack Black. Oh, how could you say no to that? So, but, yeah. All right, let's see what's next. Straight this dilemma. That was a good one. Uh, you become the smartest man in the world. Everyone else literally has no brain. Well... I mean, isn't society already kind of like that? Nobody really has a brain these days. But uh, in all seriousness, if nobody... See, we got to think outside of the box here. There's thinking inside of the box. This is the box right here. See, we have a box. It's literally a box. We got to think outside of, the, outside of the box, into the cold, dark, black areas of the screen that honestly are probably going to have some annotations to make them not look as boring. But... Um, we gotta think outside of the box. If nobody has a brain, then society is doomed and we're all gonna die. So it doesn't matter how smart you are. If nobody has a brain, then we're fucked. Done. End of discussion. I will not. Alright. Nice. Looks like uh, I passed the test on that one there. Let's do a couple more. Uh, you could use a superpower to save the world for one day. Uh, you make a mistake and lose your ability to communicate using words for the day after when you have to defend yourself in court. What the fuck kind of question is that? This is terrible. Who the fuck cares? Um, why? Oh, so it's just assuming? Oh, shit, it got cut off a little bit. 
Uh, let's see if I can fix that. Boom, there we go. Magic of uh, video editing, boys. On the fly. Defend yourself in court. Alright. Still cut off a little bit, but that's fine. Um, this is a terrible question. Honestly, if I could use my superpowers to save the world for a day, I'm not going to worry about the fact that I can't talk. So, let's just press the damn button. Wow, what the fuck? No, people are assholes, man. Nobody wants to save it. Everyone is so selfish. Look at that. Everyone is so selfish. Only 40% of the people pressed the button. 60% did not. I don't like that one. That's a bad one right there. All right, last one for now. We'll do more later, maybe. If you guys like it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. All that dumb shit that nobody wants to hear about. But just essentially prove that you guys want me to do another one of these videos. Either by commenting, thumbs up, sending me tweets, all that shit. Uh, okay, be financially set for life, but died 15 years. Well, they made a, loo uh, a movie about this. It's called Looper. And it's pretty much the same thing, except instead of dying 15 years, it's dying 30 years. And a lot of people said yes. But 15 years and 30 years is a pretty big difference. So, uh, 15 years? I don't know, man. That's not really that long. I'm still pretty young. I think I've got uh, quite a bit more than 15 years left, so... If you're, to see this question, if you're like 95 years old and you're like, you know, somehow on the internet, which is impossible, and you stumble upon this question, it's like a no-brainer, right? Because you're going to be gone anytime soon. But, you know, as a young individual, uh, I don't think, I don't think the 50 plus years of my life that I would lose would be worth 15 years of mass fortunes. So I will not press the button. All right, looks like a lot of people didn't as well. Look at that, guys. We did it. We passed the test. I think we pretty much nailed all of them. So uh, this is a pretty cool site. If you guys haven't checked it out, it's williepressthebutton.com. Uh, it's just dilemmas, and you either press the button and accept your fate, or you don't press the button, and you pass up on some opportunities. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Like shit all that stuff nobody wants to hear it because it's boring but uh if you guys show your support i'll go to make another one of these so thanks again everyone take care i'll see you all next time peace